Windsurf and Deep Seek R1 is absolutely insane. Now, if you want to get access to Windsurf, you can download it directly at codium.com forward slash Windsurf. And once you've done that, you'll be able to build these AI agents who can go out and code for you using Deep Seek R1. And one of the best things about Windsurf is that you can actually connect to the internet. So you can connect the coding power of Deep Seek R1 directly to the internet to search in real time. Let me show you exactly what this looks like. So inside here, we're going to open up a new window. Once you've got Windsurf set up, open up a new folder. And then, for example, we've got Windsurf test ready to go there. We're going to open that bad boy up. And then in the right hand side here, you've got a choice between chatting and writing. Right, so chat means you can get some ideas, you can go back and forth a little bit, like chat GPT, but in the context of this project. And if we switch to writing, we can now use DeepSeek R1 or DeepSeek version 3 for creating and coding our projects. So if we say, just to check it's working, what model are you? And you can see it's using the reasoning thought process right there. It doesn't actually say it's DeepSeek R1, it says I'm a coding assistant developed by Codium, but it is DeepSeek R1. Now, here's where it gets interesting. So over here, you have your chatbot where you can write stuff. And over here, you have your project where you can code stuff. So for example, we say build a SEO cost calculator plus answer FAQs on the page. Then it's going to use the reasoning model from DeepSeek R1 to code that out directly inside this project here. The good thing about using a logic model like one is going to step-by-step -step plan it out. So here's what the structure should look like. Here's the features, etc. And that's already coding the index.html. Now I'll show you exactly how you can leverage this with Windsurf AI later because you can connect this to the internet and there's also a memory feature inside Windsurf as well. On top of that, it can run terminal commands. And additionally, there's a very easy way to host everything that you create and code inside here. So for example, for building apps, websites, tools, you can do all of that directly inside Windsurf. And the other good thing about this is it's all hosted locally. So you can come back to the project, you can reopen the folder inside Windsurf, edit the project, etc., and you're good to go on that. And if, even if you have no coding experience, you can still do stuff. So you can see here is I've coded it out. Are you ready to run this? And if we click accept, we can see that our SEO cost calculator is available right there. Inside here as well, it would say, if you want to test it out, click on the calculator and here we go. And that's looking pretty nice to be fair. It's got the frequently asked questions, which we requested earlier. Design is super nice and sleek. Bear in mind, we created that in one single prompt. We can build out whatever we want. You can select between how many pages you're going to create, plus your target rankings and how much money that will cost. And literally all we said to build that whole website was build an SEO cost calculator and make it beautiful, right? So simple and easy to do. Now, what is if you want to host this? So all you do is you right click on the project folder, like you can see. Then from here, you're going to click on reveal in finder. Now you've got your folder ready to go. And if we open up a new tab, we'll go to Netlify and Netlify.com allows us to like quickly host projects. So if we click on add a new site, import an existing project, Netlify drop, grab the folder, drop it in there. And now we've got that ready to go. It's all deployed. If we click on preview. We can preview the SEO cost calculator. We've actually got a test domain if you want to share that with people. So you can actually just share that link for any stuff that you've created. And on top of that, if you go down to domain management, add a domain, you can add a custom domain. So it could be like SEO.com or whatever domain you want to host this project on. So simple and easy to do. So once we've done that now, so now you really understand the basics of this and how it works. We can also, for example, use DeepSeek version three, which is not a reasoning model, but is much faster for building stuff out. So for example, if you've got a more complex prompt or a bigger project, it's going to be a lot faster to build with DeepSeek version three. So if we say, for example, five page website example, create a five page website, blah, blah, blah. Here's the details. Here's my brand colors. Link out to this page. It's going to start building that out. So it's just much faster to respond. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to load, we can up put, open up a new tab. So you can actually like create multiple projects at the same time, code multiple apps. You don't have to just focus on one at a time. So for example, here, if we open up a new folder, then we're going to type in, for example, new folder. We'll call this app examples, hit create open that up, code with cascade, that's going to open up a new project. And then again, we can just select which API. So you can have like different APIs running on different projects in the background. We've got different options here. Super simple and easy to do. So let's try something out now. We're going to click on DeepSeek R1. We'll say build a to-do list app and let's see what we get back. And you can see here how much faster DeepSeek version three is when it comes to creating stuff. It's just not going to be as logical. It's not going to be as good at reasoning. So it depends on the complexity of the project that you're building out, how much you're testing it, that sort of thing. But you can see how quickly that built out the index.html file.
for the project. Switch back to the deep sea test. This looks like it's almost ready to go. And if we click on this link, we have the five page website we were talking about building earlier, right? So you can click between the different tabs, services, about, home. The calculator page doesn't work, just being 100% honest with you. But we've got the spine of the website and then we can just go back and forth and edit it as we need to. If we go back to the app section now, it looks like this is almost ready to go. So if we just say, run this so I can open it. That's opened it up now. Let's test this out, figure out deep seek. And there we go. We've just built out to-do list app and any apps that you're paying for, you could just build out with these sort of projects, right? Now there's a couple of other things to note here. So for example, if we open up a new window, open up a new project, click on code with cascade. What we can actually do from here is we can connect this to the internet. So for example, if I'm like, okay, what's happening lately with AI this week? And you can see it's now searching the web. So it's looking for the latest news, figuring out what's happening, looking at some of the latest details, etc., And it's connected to the internet. If we say, okay, remember my brand colors, add this to my memory. And then we'll put in the brand colors there. It said, I'll add your brand colors to the memory for future references. Let me know if you need anything else. And then it says memory has been updated and you can actually manage the memory here. So you can, for example, add, edit like global rules, workspace rules, and you can add different rules inside here. This is super useful because then you don't have to give the same instructions over and over again. If you have a certain writing style, if you, for example, have certain personalizations about you, if you have certain places that you want to send traffic to, when you build out these tools, for example, like URLs or landing pages, you can insert that inside the memory of the project. And then it's really easy to just build things out without having to go back and forth on the prompts because it's all personalized to you, right? Just to recap so far, I've shown you how to build websites with multiple pages, to-do list apps, connect to the internet, update the memory, use DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek version 3 as well, productive day. And now let's take it a step further. So what we can actually do is we can build some websites out based on the current headlines using DeepSeek, right? So because it's connected to the internet, we can figure out, okay, what's going on today? And then how can we code something off the back of that? So for example, if we say, okay, what happened today in football? It's gonna look for the latest football news. Bear in mind, this is not always like 100% up to date, but it does give us some examples. And then we're like, okay, based on the latest transfer rumors, create a beautiful football news website. And then it's going to build out that project based on the latest news because it's connected to the internet. Unlike, for example, something like bold.new or unlike, for example, something like RuCode, I've made videos on all of these projects. These are great, but they're not going to be updated with the latest news. Unlike, for example, DeepSeek version one inside Windsurf. Now, if we say to it, okay, now fill out a blog with today's date plus transfer rumors. It knows today's date. Then it's editing the content, inserting it into the index.html, inserting that information it found earlier with the transfer rumor details. And this is just an example for football, but you can customize it to any industry, any niche, etc. And um, we're getting the project ready to go. And the thing about DeepSeek version three versus DeepSeek R1 is it's just so much faster, right? If I had to show you on a sample video like this, I'd be waiting maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to code this all out. I could do it in seconds with DeepSeek version three and still get a really good output. Now, if you're not happy with the style, etc., you can just say something like make it more beautiful and that'll just improve the design. So you can see here how it's coding the CSS to make the design of the website much nicer. You can also switch between different APIs, right? So you're not just limited to DeepSeek version three or DeepSeek R1. We could use something like Core 3.5 Sonic, which is really good for coding as well. And to be honest, it depends what you're using this for. So if it's something that requires a lot of thought, you're gonna use DeepSeek R1. If you're going for speed, probably DeepSeek version three. And bear in mind, DeepSeek version three is cheaper as well to use. If you're going for the best possible front end, well, you probably go for something like Claw 3.5 Sonic. So it depends what you want and how you want to do it. And then if we open this up, obviously it's still using the brand colors, which don't quite fit, but we've basically got the blog ready to go with the latest transfer news. It's including information from today. And then you can just build that out more and more. And you've got the basis of a, a website built in literally minutes, along with the latest headlines for that news. And we did it all directly inside Windsurf. Super easy. So. We've also covered how to build apps and full-blown websites as well as connecting to the internet. The other thing that I wanted to show you was how you can build games out. Let's open up a new tab. We'll start coding. We'll change back to DeepSeek R1. We're going to say build an awesome snake game. To be fair, even with DeepSeek R1, it's pretty fast to reply. And look at that. 
it's already building it out. Like I've noticed on the website, I think because so many people are using it, it's a lot slower than this. Whereas if you use it inside Deep Sea Guy One, it seems to be much faster. But I'm sure that varies time to time. So we're building out our snake game here. You can see how it's built out a step by step plan as well. And the thing to note here is previously in the past, you need a team back in the day, probably like a whole team of coders spent dozens, if not hundreds of hours trying to figure how to build out snake. Now you can do it in literally one prompt, even if you have no coding experience and you don't even need to know what you're doing. You just need to know what you want. Now, if something isn't working as well, you can easily debug it with zero technical expertise. So if we just say this does not work, mate, and it's trying to figure it out, it's okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. It's going to run this command, start setting up. And if we set up a new window here and we'll grab the index HTML that's created and you can see this game is now working, right? I can just work through it, it's debugged it, figured out what to fix, and then it's boom, let's do it. So absolutely amazing stuff. What I've actually done inside my free SEO course, link in the comments description, if you go to the video notes for this article, you'll find 100 different use cases on how to use Windsurf AI for whatever you want. Additionally, you can search in here and you can find whatever you want. So for example, let's say you're searching for AI agents, there's tons of stuff on AI agents right here, as you can see that you can flick through. This is literally years of work plugged into a free course just to help you. So every single lesson inside here, this lesson comes with tutorials, SAPs, video tutorials, etc. And you can get that for free, link in the comments description. Additionally, you also get access to 3,700 AI SEOs just like you, so an amazing community, a classroom with another free AI course, 53 tools and 200 free chat GPT prompts. And if you want a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take both sides from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You will get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, profits to your website. You discover the secrets to SEO link building. What happens any questions you have one-to-one? You learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quit our ranking competitors to link building and how to stand next to SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye.